What's up guys? We've got the HFT1500 from Vectronix on the bench today and I've mentioned in a couple other videos but I'll just kind of recap. I've had this tuner in for repair I want to say three times um, since I got it and backing up even further than that I waited I think in upwards of six months to get this tuner in the first place. Um, got it, didn't work, sent it back, got it again, didn't work. And keep in mind you wait maybe a month or more each time you send it back. So we're now coming up on, geez, probably 15 or 16 months since I first ordered this thing. And uh, it's just been riddled with issues. But anyway, one of the main issues I was having, and I think it's the reason I sent it in every time, there were other things, but the main problem was that while tuning, as I would watch my SWR, these are your fine adjustments here on the antenna and transmitter, I would watch my, actually on my antenna analyzer, you can watch my video on that, but I would watch the needles on that, and as I would just make a very slight bump like that, sorry about my light flashing down here, I'll get that out of there, is I would just make a slight bump, the SWR would just spike and then come back and spike and come back. And with this being a fine adjustment, you've got to turn this like, I'm just going to say by the numbers, three or four numbers, just to see the needle go like that. So if you're just bumping it and the SWR is spiking, something is wrong. So I sent that back the first time, got it back, and it did the exact same thing. Sent it the second time, got it back, and it worked. I'm trying to remember now. It worked, uh, but the other issues weren't fixed. The case um, has this decal on the front. The whole decal was on crooked. So, for example, these were not lined up under the uh, the direct and the tuned. I think those are maybe adjustment screws for the needles. I'm not really sure, but anyway, those were crooked. Part of the decal was covering my screen here. Part of it is still not lined up with this. You can see that that is kind of crooked in its display. Um, and then also the bezel, you can see here, and I'll try to show it, is cracked. There on the upper right and then on the left side, that whole bezel is cracked in there. That screen is greasy and dirty. Um, so just little stuff like that. This uh, pointer was flopping around. Um, and then another issue I was having is when I turned this on the inductor, it would hit a stop every once in a while, and you'd have to almost force it past that. So those are all reasons I sent it back, and it came back mostly repaired. But now we're running into yet another issue. So we're probably two or three months after getting it back, and I've hardly been in the shack, so it's hardly been used. Um, but now the issue I'm having is if I just touch the inductor, the SWR will jump again. And this is the course adjustment, so um, I will say if you make a slight turn like that, you'll see it move a lot more than it would with the fine adjustment, but it's the same thing, where if I just barely bump it, it'll spike and come back. Um, and the fact that it spikes and comes back tells me there's something wrong versus if I make an adjustment and it spikes and stays there, that would make sense. But just the way it's acting is not correct. So anyway, rather than spend the $60 again to send it back and have it not be fixed, we're just gonna go ahead and pull this apart ourselves and see what the issue is. So I thought I'd bring you along with me and uh, see if we can get this fixed ourselves. If not, I'm going to figure out how I send it back and get a different tuner altogether. I've got another one in mind. I think it's made by H8ADU. You can search that, or um, those products are listed on DX Engineering on their website. And actually, I have a DX Engineering um, catalog right over here. So in just a second, I'll show you a couple of those tuners I've been looking at. but. I just have not been impressed with uh, the, uh, well, let me explain. The reason I went with Vectronix in the first place versus just the MFJ equivalent is because I 
didn't really want any MFJ stuff. Um, as I've talked about before, I kind of like to have stuff that's unique and different from what everybody else buys. And everybody buys MFJ, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to have Vectronics. Um, what I didn't realize is that MFJ had bought Vectronics, and so that this is essentially just uh, an MFJ tuner with a Vectronics sticker on it. So that kind of affirms my opinion of MFJ products, um, but we won't get into that. All right, so I'm going to pull the cover off. I got my four screws removed. Everything's unplugged on this, so we're safe. And let's just see what we're looking at. This is my first time looking inside of here, actually. So, all right, so kind of first things I'm looking for are any broken or loose solder joints. One thing I noticed, look at the handle on this thing. See how crooked that is on there? It's probably not affecting anything, but it's just kind of annoying. Um, so what you're doing when you turn this roller inductor, you can see there's a little wheel down in here and it travels along this coil and it either gets closer to the end, you can see it's about to bottom out here on the end, or it travels all the way back the other direction. And uh, what we need to figure out is why this is jumpy. It's like it's not making contact in all locations which is very irritating because this inductor was just replaced on, let's see, is that the date of replacement or the date of manufacture? Either way, 1218 is, uh, what are we, June? So five and a half months ago, or almost six months ago. That's pretty poor. Um, with these variable capacitors being okay, I'm not going to get into those at all. But I have heard that you can end up with kind of some dry areas here where you need to add uh, a little bit of electrical grease. And I can actually feel as I'm turning this, there's spots where it gets very loose. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. And then all of a sudden it gets tight again. So it's like it's making better contact in certain areas than others. But anyway... Um, I'm not going to bring you along for the whole repair. I'm just going to kind of look it over. If I do find anything, I will make another video showing what that is um, and make sure to explain how I took care of that. But anyway, I said I was going to show you those other tuners. So let me pull my catalog here and see if we can find them. This is uh, spring and summer of last year. But I believe they're in here. Let's see, antennas, antenna receiving, should be in that antennas receiving, oh wait, antenna tuners, here we go. So we have our Maritron, hopefully they're listed, Acom, RM Italy, very nice. Well, shoot, I hope they are listed in here. Here we go. HA8DU. And here are a couple of the models that they offer. And the ones that I'm interested in particular are the... I need to compare what the difference between the L-type and the T-type is. But if you see there, the DU1500... That's kind of what I'm looking at. I'm never going to get into the 3,000 watts because it's illegal. Um, and even with my new tube amp, which you'll see later, uh, I'm still going to be under the legal limit. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at is the... They only show one of them in here, the L-type. I believe the T-type is more similar to what this Vectronics is. But anyway... I, uh, I have a real good feeling about these tuners compared to what I've got here, so um, we will uh, keep you updated with that, and like I said, I'll keep you updated with this and let you know what I find, um, but that's what the inside looks like if you were wondering, and uh, that's all I got, so be on the lookout for a part two 
whether I repair or replace, and I'll let you know either way. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe, especially if you're not already subscribed. Um, I am within, I think, about 75 or 80 subscribers to the thousand mark, and that would be really sweet. So would love to have you on the channel. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.